So now let's do the returning customer post purchase flow. So these are customers that have bought more than once. And I'm going to show you now, all you literally have to do is just, this is the new PP. You just copy flow. And you can just say return PP. Now, because we have the properties, all we need to change is the fact that for returning customers, they have made purchases equal to and greater than two. And then same thing, remove a customer if the order has been delivered. Save. Now, what's different here is that the first message, the offer won't be the same. This time it's just saying, thank you so, so much for supporting us, for your continued support. We are literally jumping for joy that you joined. I mean, that this is your second purchase. It means so much to us. I'm just adding that message. So just to recap, the offer is not the same right i'm just saying thank you so much for the purchase keeping the image the same but no video link we can probably add a video link to say thank you but the offer is definitely not the same everything else is the same except for the subscriber tag we're just gonna delete this one and then add a new one. Add re current PP. So just to recap, everything else stays the same when you're creating the sequence. Make sure to make a copy so or clone it so you know you don't have to do all the hard lifting. And what's different is that we're speaking to customers that have created orders over two and above, right? Done. Everything else stays the same. Then the offer for the first text is no longer there for returning customers. We can create a video. This one does not have the link to the video, but it's just saying thank you so much. The second message obviously has to be different. When it comes to how to take care of the product, same question, same, you know, the fact that they're making a worthwhile purchase. And then we just updated the um, subscriber property. So everything else stays the same except for subscriber properties. I mean, subscriber tag. Sorry, guys. We just updated the subscriber tag for return PP. Everything else stays the same except for the first message and the properties i.e. the triggers, then boom, save. Cool, now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna use these um, subscriber tags in the next video.